much. Ooh, refreshing. What's up guys, Ron with CPP Tech. How you guys doing today? Test bench, $30 or less, now. All right, so what you guys are gonna do is we're gonna grab a piece of a crook. This is about, I think, 12 by 10. So long as it fits the motherboard, uh, I believe the motherboard is just under 12 inches. So, and uh, it's just under, I believe, 10 inches. So it's, uh, it'll fit. What you're gonna wanna do actually before you do anything is we're gonna, you're gonna wanna, and I've already pre-drilled these holes, but you're gonna actually wanna set your motherboard down like this. Okay, try to get it as straight as you can. And then follow the holes and take a Sharpie and mark the holes. And then take your motherboard off of there. All you gotta do is find yourself a, a, a small little drill bit big enough to fit your M3 holes or your M3 screws and screw in or screw in, drill, drill all your holes according to the hole pattern on your motherboard. So I've actually has I actually have these these done up as an ATX ITX and and a mini ITX. So, but like I said, it'll work with any piece of acrylic. Piece of acrylic this size is about eight or nine bucks, maybe ten, fifteen. I'll research it and throw it somewhere around here. So what you're actually going to do also is. Now I use these on my wife's build when we watched the uh, Wonder Woman build and if you haven't seen that, now's a great time to subscribe to this channel and go over there and check that out after you get done watching this video. But we actually have standoffs. So this is actually an M3, they're all M3 screws. This one here is actually 30 millimeter and this one is a 65 millimeter. We also are going to use three standoffs, these short little standoffs. We're actually gonna use, I believe, six of the, th of the 35 millimeters, and we're gonna use, I believe, eight of the 30 millimeters. The other thing we're actually gonna do today as well is, these are other, dropping. These are also uh, little standoffs, but they're female to female. And I'll show you guys what we're gonna use those for here in a bit. So. What uh, we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start, I'm gonna put one on and show you guys how this goes on and then we'll listen to some music and we'll speedy Gonzales our way through all this stuff. What I actually wanna do is I wanna put the long, the long ones on the bottom and then the short one on the top. That way whenever it's on there, these little screws, the motherboard will pop into place. So, We'll go ahead and start one and then listen to some music. Maybe listen to some music. Maybe start one. All right, sound music. Yeah, this baby said that they don't got a future. Future like that. It burns, so give him something worse to kill his head with. Make him forget somehow. Why be that another day? She would have wished he stayed, but they're done. Sorry, this won't be enough this time Yeah, he's calling all his friends to get some action and distract him right now. And there you have it. Got yourself a nice little test bench. So now all you gotta do is put the motherboard on there and I'll show you what we're gonna do using these, these short standoffs here. So we'll grab the motherboard. Uh, a bit will cooperate. Line it up with the holes, and right on there fits. Get this one here. There's one in the middle there. Come on, come on. There it goes. Boom, 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 and boom. There we go. So there it is. So what we're gonna do actually now is take these short standoffs and we're gonna put them on all four of these corners. And the reason I'm doing that is if you start moving this thing around, it just prevents the chances of the motherboard from sliding off of these screws. You only need to put four of them. Just put 
put one on each corner. And uh, that's just an extra safety precaution. Yeah, and then after this, you can uh, start putting your power supply on and your graphics card if you're lucky enough to have one and just tighten them up snug don't have to don't have to overdo it and voila so there's yourself a nice test bench um, what I do have on here just to go over I got an MSI B450 Tomahawk Max uh, with a 3600 AMD and AMD 3600 and then I've got 32 gigs of RAM the Corsair Visions Pro I believe it's actually 3600 megahertz so I actually have a GT 710 that we're going to put on here because all my graphics cards are actually being utilized right now but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this next week <laughs>